and we protect electronic devices from the inside out. Until HZO, pre-HZO, uh, people try to protect electronics with boxes and seals and keep the environment out. We completely turn that paradigm on its head. We use nano coatings to protect the internal guts of the electronics so the environment can come in without damaging the electronics. For the last many decades, people have had to try to protect electronics with bulky cases and seals, but the moment water or some liquid gets in, these things fail. And with the ubiquity of electronics in our society today, that's disastrous. What we do is protect the electronics from the inside out, much like a vaccine, but we use a nano coating, and this allows the environment into the electronic devices. So my phone, you'll see water under the screen in the electronics, and they survive. They're completely seamless with the environment. And today, we're being mass adopted. We've figured out how to do this at scale, at, at a very economically viable price point or cost point. So companies like um, the ones I can speak of, like Dell, Motorola, Kobo, Elecom, Deutsche Telekom, are commercializing us in the mass market. A lot of the technologies we used already existed. The material is actually a substance called paraline. Depositing paraline uses technologies like chemical vapor deposition. There's a lot of dis device physics and materials engineering involved. A lot of these technologies have existed for 40 years. What people haven't been able to do is constitute them in a manner that can be mass produced, can be mass introduced in a reliable and economically viable manner. So that was really, that was what the genesis of HZO. We took these disparate technologies, combined them into something very special and very unique, and then we went prime time with them. Surprisingly, one of the products in the, for, for the average consumer that, uh, that uh, requires this solution uh, in, a, in a rather dire manner are e-readers because people are sub going from books to e-readers and they like to, read e they like to read in the bathtub, in the hot tub, by the pool, by the beach. So we are, by next year, we will probably be on 80 to 90% of e-readers globally. We're a platform business. Any electronic device really needs our solution. So today, we're protecting, co companies use our solution for those large LED boards. If you go to Soldier Field or the Tropicana in Vegas, those big LED signs are protected by HZO. The automotive industry, I mean, each car has 150 different electronics. And today, with autonomous driving vehicles and all the electronics, we need these cars to work, right? We've all heard about the airbag disasters due to corroded circuitry. So in the automotive space, we protect products for the military. So I I think really when you look at the future, all electronic organisms, devices, need to be vaccinated. So we see what we are doing as the single biggest trend in the electronics industry, not for the years to come, but for the decades to come. This is a naked circuit board with all the wiring and the chipset and connectors, and you can see it's working underwater, streaming audio video. So it is completely immune to water, not just water, but water, oil, Gatorade, Coke, acids. Here's my phone and you see it works fine under there. This phone actually has been scuba diving with me uh, to a depth of 120 feet and has seen over a thousand hours underwater and it works seamlessly. Water is under the screen and in the electronics, much like you see in this naked circuit board. It's truly a comprehensive solution against the environment. So this is what we do for a myriad of products uh, transcending industries like automotive, LED, the internet of things, military applications and consumer electronic applications.